Uh, good afternoon, my name is Omar Balarebi. I just want to use this opportunity to demonstrate how you can view all the serial ports on your computer through a combo box on your Visual Basic. Uh, I'm using bb.net. So just to show you how to view all the serial port of your computer through this combo box. Uh, the idea is um, I have one microcontroller, it's called Arduino. I have an Arduino board, which is a microcontroller on a board. You can use that microcontroller or that board to control a lot of a lot of devices. Even some use it to establish or to create an Internet of Things application or something like that. So the issue here is in my circuit, I just build one small circuit whereby through this Visual Basic I can control light. So I can switch on or off lighting in a house in a house or control air condition. May see the temperature of that particular environment all through this application. But before you achieve that, you need to connect your application through. You need to connect this application to the that particular device connected to your computer via this particular COM port uh, COM19 that is serial port 19. The moment you say click, it will it's supposed to display the temperature even though I just disconnected the device from my computer. So now let me just disconnect it. Let me just stop the application. So the idea is just to see how you can view that particular that particular all the compo port of your computer uh, through this uh, combo box. So I have a small roadmap here so that uh, to make the application very short. First of all, in your Visual Basic to achieve this, you need to add a serial port serial port control to your application. You need to import system input output port class, and after that, then you set some properties to your serial port. Then finally, you open your connection and uh, establish or just connect it to your computer. So now, let me stop this and go straight to the application. Uh, now, sorry. First of all, like I said, we need to add a serial port control to your application. You just go to your tools bar and locate serial port. You click on that serial port and add it to your computer and add it to your phone. As you can see now, I have serial port 1, serial port 2, serial port 3. So th this is the first one we are going to use. I can go ahead and just delete this tool. So I have done the first thing to add a serial port control to your phone. The second thing is to import the input output port class or classes to your form. Just go to the, at the top of your form and type import system dot input output import again system dot input the output dot input output dot port. These two classes are important for you to establish this particular connection. The third, third aspect is to set some properties for this serial port. So now let's go to let's go to this connect button because I want to the moment I click this connect, this visual basic or the my device will be connected to this visual basic through the selected port. So now if we come here, we are going to see the property started from here, from here to here. But the most important aspect are this serial this first three uh, lines here you need to declare your the port name assuming if you can remember when we load this particular when we load our application we need to select a particular port so now if you know always your device is connected to port 9 com port 9 so you can just come here and just declare it and say com from 19. From 19. But if you know it can change time to time, so it's better it's better to come here and just declare a variable on port. You assign the text property of that particular combo box that is a port you selected to that particular variable com port 
and then assign this port to your the to port name property. Then the second thing is declare data bit which you assign to it and boundary you assign it to 9600. Nine but the rest of the properties just assign them to none. Then the last one you just assign it to the default. I'm not going to waste actually time to explain this. Maybe in our next video to explain more about Andrino, we are going to talk about this. So the moment you are done with these properties, so you can just go ahead and say your serial port dot open. But I just in order to drop some errors, I close the port first in case, for example, if the port is already open. So if you try to open it again, it will create an error. So I just need to close it, even if it is closed already closed. If you close it again, you are not going to have any error. But then finally, you just come and say, you would say click open. To in order to open the particular port, so now we need one thing, one thing left for us to to in uh, so now to load all the name of the serial port on my computer to this combo box, we need to do one thing. Since we have already declared our, we have already imported our classes. So we need I uh, we need to come to form load. This is where I just place my code and uh, write this at least these three lines. I use a for loop in order to pick all the ports, all the available com uh, serial port on my system, and load it to that particular combo box. So I say for each SP SP just a variable name as a string in my what computer.port.serial port name. This serial port name is the one that carries all the port name in your uh, on your computer. So I say now all the port name on my computer, I just create something like an array. So now you need to come and load them to your combo box. So combo box.items.add each port name on my computer. So these three lines will load we load all this port to my application. So now assuming let me say I want to connect to my Arduino board. Now it's connected. So I want to, for example, let me say take attendance of this particular course. If you say start session, so now the moment student scan his card, so it will capture the card ID. This is the card ID belong, let's say to student A. You scan again for the second student. It will capture the ID for the second student. So you can use this one to establish attendance application for your student. For example, if you are done with taking attendance, you can just stop the what do you call it the attendance taking. So this is the idea. So now with these three lines, you will be able to load all the port name to your combo box. And the moment you select the right the right com um, port name, which is which you are Adreno is connected to and you click connect so you are establishing a connection between your visual basic program to your Adreno. So all the data coming or you can transfer all the data from your Adreno via your serial port. If I say serial port here, I mean via your USB connection to your computer. Also, you can send a signal from your visual basic application or from your application to the board. Assuming now I have all the the, the, uh, the right circuit connected to my computer. So the moment if I run it, if after connecting to if I, after connecting to my board, if I say connect, so assuming it's working now. If I say if I click this light, it will on the light. You can see. If I say air condition on, it will on the air condition. If I say now off it, it will off the air condition. So but later we are going to see the full circuit and how to even connect it to your computer hello this is called Andrino board and this is a relay and uh, this is another relay in which I connect my board to it it can be your uh, lightning system and at the same time the, the other end of the relay is connected to a power source in this case I have a 9 volt battery and this is a sensor motion sensor and a temperature reader this so the idea of this is to be placed inside a classroom uh, whenever the system senses 
presence of a student or teacher or anyone, it will automatically turn on the light. After I turn on the light, it will measure the temperature via this one. If the temperature is above the normal temperature set by the system, it will automatically own the fan or air condition when, when whichever is connected to this uh, this relay. So assuming now it's already the system already detected my motion and set this uh, relay on. So if I connect my battery, you will see the bulb will light on. If you take, if I take my off the lock of the battery, it will go off, on, off. So now the the system didn't detect my my any motion, so that's why it went off. Even if I put the leg of the battery, one of the leg of the battery, it will not, it will not on. So I wanted to use Visual Basic to connect this device. After connecting this device to my computer, I want to use Visual Basic to control also these activities.